right here in Atlanta. Two presidents met on the debate stage at a moment of crossroads for our country. Both former President Trump and President Joe Biden presenting two very different visions for the future of our country. Let's get right to the biggest moments tonight. And we've got to start right here. Some voters have expressed concern about President Biden's age and his ability to keep focus. Tonight, at times, the president seemed to lose his train of thought, including in his answer early in the debate to a question about the economy. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. But that was not always the tenor of the debate. There were also moments of high energy exchanges like this one, where Mr. Trump and Mr. Biden clashed over one of the biggest issues of this election, the future of abortion access after the Supreme Court's 2022 decision overturning Roe v. Wade. He can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth, because some states, Democrat run, take it after birth. Again, the governor, former governor of Virginia, put the baby down, then we decide what to do with it. So he's, in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill the baby. Nobody wants that to happen, Democrat or Republican. Nobody wants it to happen. You're lying. That is simply not true that Roe v. Wade does not provide for that. That's not the circumstance. Only the woman's life is in danger. She's going to die. That's the only circumstance in which that can happen. But we are not for late-term abortion, period, period, period.